as if the artist and back again my good people we're gonna make some stuff happen in 4d as always bottle juice this time around town where's for no man let's yeah <laughs> Here we are, as of the artist in Cinema 4D once again, business as usual. Without wasting time, my good people, let's get down to it. So, in our primitive. Uh huh, uh huh. Primitive, the cube. Increase the size a bit. Let's scale it down. Oh, uh, yes, somewhere there. H on the keyboard, press and B. Okay, so now segments on the X, that's three segments of the Z, that's three. Now hit C on keyboard. Select those. Select those. Okay. Now move it up. <clears throat> Scale that in. Scale that in. Leave it there. In audio. Yes. So now let's drop in a primitive. But before that, let's get rid of those polygons. Let's drop in a disc. Now let's switch uh, the view mode to top. Okay. Disc selected. Uh, let me scale it down zoom in scale it down so now what we have to do is to change the rotation segment first to house so now we have to rescale this to the same level as this square there we can do that manually yes but it's going to be a pain Let's be smart about this. So now, let's come here at the top, modular settings, enable snap, but we will snap using edge. Okay, now deselect that, select your disk, scale that in, boom, it will automatically snap. Select your cube, go to points mode, but before that, Again, let's come to our cube. We have to rotate this cube in a such a way that these slides or those ones align with these ones there in the corners. Coordinates on the arm. Let's some um, uh, 14, 15 will do. Let's put a 15. Okay, now go to your cube. Points. Let's do this, okay? When you drag that down, it will snap to that. Select that. It will snap. Select that. It will snap. So I'll just for fast forward this because it's just a repetition. So, now we're done with that. So now, let's go to our perspective mode. As you can see, there's a wall there. So now go to edge mode. Before that, let's disable that option. Oh yes, disable that. Okay. Now let's select those. And yes. Let's move this up. I think they'll do. Double click that or you can press UL on the keyboard, select that ring. Move tool, hold control, move it up. 
leave it hanging somewhere there. Let's put that in the sub D and see what happens. Okay, not bad. Let's fix this. Let's give this a shake now using our cut to KL, our loop pad tool. Symmetrical. Let's put one there. Okay, unselect that one. Put another there. Let's change this view to an A. Code public notes. Let's roll it back. Okay, let me add subdivision. Sub D, sub D. Thank you. That looks clean, that looks fresh. Press Q or just come there to uh, disable that. Polygon. Select all of those, press I, extrude in, put one loop there, do that. Move it up. Rescale that in. Enable your sub D and see how it looks. If you are happy with it, like myself, you can leave it there. So now let's work here at the top. Okay. Press KL. See what happens when we put one loop there. Okay, nothing bad. Put one there. Put one there. Press UL. Mm -hmm. Press Q to disable the sub D. Extrude that out. Enable subdivision. That looks proper. That looks proper. Save an incremental. Let's save our progress. Yes, I'm happy with this. Ladies and gentlemen, if you made it to this point, you've seen how easy it is just to manipulate your primitives to get something like this. So now, let's make the cap all the lead. Press Q to disable the sub D now. Let's press U L. Select that now. Press U P. What happens that when you press U P, it will make a copy of that selection. Let's rename this to lead so it won't cause any confusion. Rescale it out a bit. Now, okay, seems like our edge is still selected. Move to, let's move it up somewhere there. Yeah, somewhere there. Close polygon hole. Boom. Okay. Select that top, press I, extrude inner, extrude inner, and inner. JL. You can make a symmetrical cut. Let's put one somewhere there. UL. Boom. D. Press D on the keyboard. Move that out. Let me go on top there to view port solve. Just want to. Focus on that alone. KL to bring our loop path cut. It's on symmetrical. Nah, it's okay. Boom. In audio. So okay, we have to put all of those in and out. So the sub D can work its magic on both of those primitives. KL. Oh, KL, yes, selected. Disable symmetrical. We'll put one there. No, 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 no,
Okay. Or can we scale it just a bit? So, folks, my good people. So you have seen. So let I just want to move this up there. So you come, you select the mesh. You come to the top there. You click that. You move that tool up. Then you click again. one there yeah that will fix it ladies and gentlemen as of the artist i'm grateful for watching my tutorial so there will be a link in the description as well that would lead to a rendered tutorial just to show you how you can render something like this so it will look so good. Ah, also, if there's any questions, any suggestions, drop those in the comments below. Oh, I said the artist as always, a mode.